Oh my god. <laughs> the song they've choreographed to is Dead Man Walking by Brent Fayaz. Choreographer number one, Jerome Kunana. What's up guys, my name is Jerome, aka Jnoy. I choreograph and a director for The Killers. One of my favorite parts is the last part where I can just groove and feel the music. But I try to like maintain all my stamina so I can save the energy at the end. Just grooving and having fun, feeling the music at the same time. I'm so excited right now, oh my god. Isolation. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god! I like saw the like the gun part. And yeah, I, I I didn't hear that until I know he did it. It felt very relatable in a way of yeah. watching it, and then out of nowhere he just does that that one move where he yeah. goes to the ground that comes oh out of nowhere. God. A beginner dancer could learn how to wait, and you don't have to be like ah, 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 the whole time. Like you can you can have those moments of. I'm here, or like I'm in the moment. Or like the end, he goes, goom, goom. I, and I'm like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> he's, he's just, he's so sick. Choreographer number two, Azuki Umeda. Hi everyone, my name is Azuki. I'm a choreographer, educator, and performer, and I am the founder of Authenticity Dance Company. I am so inspired by a lot of the fundamentals of popping, locking, waving, and everything, and then putting it into my contemporary background. I have ADHD, so what happens is like, I kind of just like go into different branches, and I just don't know what I'm doing, but then I like take a deep breath in, and then I find the path, you know? My brain right now. One thing about like Azuki, like she's always gonna find those hidden beats behind the music. I mean, I've known her for years and years and years. Like it makes me a little emotional because like she's always been such a amazing artist. This is actually my first time seeing her dance. Her patience is like crazy. The way she used her hands when it comes to like just It's doing insane. This. She even hits the pianos in the back and the back, back, back. And right. it's just like- You can hear it. I think a beginner dancer could learn the art of popping. She has so much control over her body. She can pop from her legs, she can pop from her chest, or she can pop from her head, for Christ's sake. And I feel like she has such a gift. Choreographer number three, Macy Montez. Hi, my name is Macy Montez. You may have seen me on season 17 of So You Think You Could Dance or have danced with Phineas and Ben Platt. 
Uh, my choreography process, it was actually pretty difficult for me because I am more of a freestyle dancer. There's this one part where he says like the word secrets and I like bite my, <laughs> my hand <laughs> because I don't know, because secrets you're like biting your tongue and there's like a secret to tell. So that's probably my favorite part. The young Did I just run it up before I go? Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? Am I ready? You send an action. These days, no call my age. Be blasting. Living in the midst of. Then my drive you mad. Feeling pretty mixed up. But this life, that ain't all bad. Bloody, blood, and murder. There ain't no second chance. Just do what you wanna do, how you wanna spin, what you wanna be, who you wanna be. And I'm stunned till I die. She God. said, she said. And, um, there's that part where she was just like smiling and then she goes serious. I was right. Like, I met Macy when we were like doing So You Thinking Dance season 17. I was already amazed by it and I was like, bro, I'm a fan of this girl. I think a beginner dancer would absolutely learn the storytelling aspect of the piece and where the intention comes from. How do you feel it rather than how you see it? And right. finding that difference really is so important as a dancer. Thanks for watching. Like this video. Subscribe. And comment your favorite dance move. Yeah. That's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>